Hey, Life Raft peeps, Michael B. I, <clears throat> I just, like usual, jump on this when I feel something from the Holy Spirit just prompting me. Nobody needs to panic, worry. You all have your own lives, your own um, sources of information, and I pray that the Holy Spirit speaks to you through this one as well. Listen, I pray for you guys. I was up uh, at one o'clock this morning I literally haven't been asleep yet, so it's late in Vegas. I'm pretty tired. But I'm just hearing rumblings from around the, the four corners of the earth. And I just want to encourage everybody to be prepared, right? Think about, and I know I keep preaching the same gospel, 60 days of preparations. Make sure that you're armed. Make sure that you have food and water and hopefully a generator if, if needed. Most importantly, make sure that this continuing message, right, that you hear the Holy Spirit. Um, there's a sense about the tightening that's going on in Europe, um, the rumblings in Canada, the rumor mill and actually some of the documents out of um, Australia, some of the things that were found um, from a pretty high-level meeting, meeting in Europe indicate there are very specific plans to paralyze the world, really, and to grip us with fear. There's also a lot of uh, conversation and um, I believe manufactured spikes that are gonna be broadcast a lot over the next few weeks. In America, I think that we need to be really concerned about how we drive and, and how we do things and how we pull up to corners and just how we're being wise. There is that ultimate paradox, right? Being wise, being observant, and yet not living in fear. And you know, there, there lies the passage, the beautiful passage of laboring to rest in Christ. For those of you that are believers, you need to understand the importance of that right now. We all do. It is a monumental time in the history of the world. Nobody knows what's gonna happen for sure. And yet when we look at the life of Joseph, we see that God had a plan for his people. When we look at the life of Noah, we see that God had a plan for his people. And we gotta always remember, this is not the end game. All of the stuff that's gonna happen in this world is not the end game. Look, I, I'm like everybody else. <clears throat> I ebb and flow. I, I see fear show up and I send it away in the name of Jesus and in its place I start to labor to rest. And it's only when I get to that place can I start hearing the self-evident promptings of the Holy Spirit. Um, I kind of like updates from Lance uh, Walnow. I kind of like hearing that. He's gonna be in Washington, D.C. on October 31st. It's not just Halloween. It's the day of Reform uh, Reformation. And you gotta remember, Reformation, very tired, long day, was the moment that the people of God rose up by a leader by the name of Martin Luther. And they said, you know, you're not really sharing the word of God with us. The, the most powerful thing that any of us can grab a hold of right now and really, really saturate our souls with our minds our will and our emotions is the truth in the word of god and here's this brave guy you know under penalties of death and i believe a torturous death at that he puts these these reformation documents everything that was wrong everything they were lying about and in many ways that's what's happening in the world today on october 31st I want you to kind of meditate and pray on the, reform, the Reformation. We're saying to the world, you're lying to us. You're misleading us. You're leading people down the wrong path. You're not leading the people unto life. You're leading the people unto death. And for those of us that <clears throat> really truly understand the meaning of being saved, saved is set free, saved is redeemed, salvation it means many many things all at once it means protected it means made whole emotionally physically financially you know god i don't care where you're at in the world i don't care what your circumstances look like i want you to to lean into god and say am i magnifying the cares of this world or am i magnifying the size of god 
And listen, there's a wall that I just put a prayer request on. I am asking every single person in this tribe to join in prayer for this nation, that the deception, the veil of deceit and the veil of people just not seeing truth is lifted. The last stat I saw says there's still 14% of Americans undecided. I don't know how you can be undecided. It's a choice between heaven and hell. But listen, even if you are a Democrat, we love you. God loves you. It doesn't matter what you are. There are dark, wicked, evil leaders that are doing things none of us can comprehend. And the ins and outs that I get from DC, it just, I hang up the phone, guys, and my head is just blown apart for a while. I just gotta get grounded back in God. And I gotta say, you know, no matter what this looks like, and no matter what it turns out to be, we have a family, a life raft. We're gonna abide in God. We're gonna abide in Christ. But we're also gonna walk this out with one another. We're gonna lift each other up in prayer. We're gonna put prayer requests on the wall. <clears throat> so from now until the election, if you have a prayer request, you just write it and I'm just gonna you know, hit approve. We, we don't approve a lot of things going on the wall to try to keep a, a real specific lane that we very much sense God has called Life Raft to do. But this is out of the ordinary. You got a prayer request, fear for your family, concerns for your family, health for your family. And again, I think everybody should be seeking the Lord on stockpiling medication if you can get it. You know, any kind of drugs that you consistently need. I think you need to really arm your immunity systems. Listen to me with A, C, E, and D. Like you're aced in a game of tennis. Tennis, A, C, E, and D. I want you to lean into the point where you can just, in a, in a, a heart that's not distorted, can actually hear the whispers of the Holy Spirit. So you and your families know what to do. I'm gonna try to pull up kind of a, a security kind of elitist expert to give us some pointers. And if I can pull that off, I'm gonna jump on a podcast with him and then post it. Because there's a lot of just practical things we should all be knowing how to do. Again, this isn't living in fear. This is uh, living in preparation. I also put um, a really amazing a word from Greg Laurie on the wall and there was a line in it and it said something about Bible prophecy wasn't given to us to scare us it was to prepare us and I absolutely love that right God did not want us to be blindsided by this he didn't want us to be blindsided by the lies of a fake pandemic get your immunity systems up Get your supplies in order. Think and be wise. And remember this tribe prays for you, cares about you, loves you. I want this to be a place like no other place you've ever experienced with the power of the living God. And by the way, I'm going to leave you with this one thought. I found out a neighbor that I had worked with once about a year and a half ago. They got divorced and he moved to another state. But I found out he killed himself about two or three hours ago. And I realized um, I've never lost anybody that I've actually worked with. And what, what I mean by that is anybody who had lost all hope and was willing to invest time, uh, basically, you know my motto, iron sharpening iron, right? And if that's you, don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that at Life Raft. You know, all of us have had times of incredible despair and hopelessness. And I just want you to know that I'm one message away. If that's you, you stop right now. And you, you just give me a private message and we're gonna jump on a Zoom together. And you and I and the Holy Spirit are gonna walk through this, right? We're not gonna leave any man down. We're not, never gonna um, abandon one another in this thing. We're gonna lift each other up in prayer. And we're gonna walk this out, guys, until the second coming, rapture, you name it. Pray, give, go, or share. Do one of those because the time, um, the time is now. This call on life raft is real. And uh, nothing has ever been more important than this group of people to me. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God um, just grace you with his blanket of uh, blessing and protection. Okay? See you guys soon. Bye-bye.